What's up everyone? It is Lone Master here and I'm back with s some more World of Tanks uh, again. Now I said in my, la uh, in my last video in the video description that I was going to take a break from this game for like a couple of weeks because well I, ha I, I have had some terrible games and such as you may have seen in the last video because yeah those games were really terrible but sometimes you just can't help it but uh, well I felt I felt like playing it more anyway so yeah <laughs> and this time around I'm actually gonna do a single tank uh, video so this will be a short review and uh, I'm going to show a couple of gameplays in uh, this tank the ELC AMX and the ELC AMX is I'm gonna go into go to this, this uh, description this is a tier 5 French light tank which you, which you get from uh, the French light tech tree uh, and once you get to the higher tiers like tier 4 or higher the light tanks start become active scout tanks well uh, n uh, not counting this one because the AMX 40 and uh, the tools before it is really not light tanks it's more like a light tank version of a heavy tank in low tiers because in these low tiers there are no heavy tanks so these are for some reason light tanks that be uh, behaves like heavy tanks and uh, these, ta these three tanks you get before the ELC AMX is really really crap these tanks are not enjoyable to say the least and the grind is going to be horrible and not and not really fun at all until you get the ELC AMX because the ELC AMX is a really really good uh, tank uh, if you know how to play it because while it uh, because playing as light scout tanks is actually pretty tricky to do if you haven't done it before and uh, yeah because you really know you really need to know what you're doing and such and yeah as you can see here uh, from tier 5 and onward you uh, these are the light scout tanks from the ESAMX up to AMX 12T, AMX 1575 and AMX 1390 and after that you uh, get tier 9 and tier 10 mediums because there are no tier 9, tier 9 and 10 uh, medium tanks or no not medium tanks what am I saying there are no tier 9 and 10 light tanks yet so the light tanks becomes uh, mediums uh, uh, after all uh, after that so yeah and uh, uh, actually ESC AMX is actually one of my first tank line I went for when I played this game along with the with these tanks I have now, the Stug 3 and yeah, Pentel and such, which is the German tank destroyer line. Uh, these tanks and the ELC line was actually the first line I went through. And yeah, so now I'm going. So let's talk about this thing, shall we? The ELC AMX. To start off, it has 400 hit points, and that's. Not all that much, but of course, light tanks uh, doesn't really have that much health at all. Uh, so yeah, uh, they are on par with tank destroyers for having the lowest health, except for artillery. But yeah, it, uh, most of the time it can take more than uh, one or two hits for, for the most part, depending on what tier of match matchmaking you get. So yeah, because if you get like a tier 8 match or something you will probably get one shotted by most of the things or two shotted de depending on what tank you face basically 
It is a really, really light tank. It only weighs like 7 tons, as you can see here. And up to 7.95 if you have uh, as maximum. But as you can see now, my, my wave is 7.06. So it only weighs 7 tons. And that is pretty much... Let's see here. Yeah, it's not that far away for, for being Earth light as a tier 1 tank. <laughs> so yeah. And this is one of the smallest tanks in the game. For the most part. And... Uh, because you are so light. And you have an engine power on 250 engine power. Now, 250 engine power doesn't really seem much at all, but if you combine that engine power with your wave, you actually get a really good power to wave ratio. I think it's like 35 power to wave ratio or something, and that is really, really good. And that means that the tank accelerates and moving forward really quickly, and all that. So it can easily get to 65. K, uh, KPH speed limit if uh, if you're going on a straight line of course and you can get to the speed limit no problem in like a few seconds so that's really nice and it and it turns decently well uh, 48 degrees per second uh, there are some light tanks that t t can turn slightly better than this but it's not bad it's uh, still fairly good turning speed actually and if you combine the traverse speed and the power to wave ratio it actually uh, maybe turns ba uh, better than you think than the 38 traverse speed so yeah it turns uh, relatively well and it is really really fast and has really good acceleration because of that so the engine power to wave ratio is really good on this tank unfortunately it comes to a drawback with the wave it's that because you wave so little if you are facing a tank that weighs much more like a medium tank that weighs like 30 or 40 tons or something and they try to ram into you 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 will get hurt you will get really really hurt maybe even one shotted by some tanks yeah you don't really ever want to ram or be rammed when you're driving this thing because yeah so don't even bother uh, trying to ram ever, except you're facing maybe an, an, an another ELC or something. I don't know, but don't ever try to ram someone or or be rammed. If some if someone is trying to ram you, get the hell out, basically. So yeah, you have to really be careful of that. And uh, then we come to armor and well, 14 at the front. 12 at the side and 10 at the air. Yeah, it's garbage. You will, you will, uh, most likely, not not ever going to bounce a shot or anything in this tank. Mostly every tank will penetrate you. The only thing you can hope to not get hit is, of course, try to use your speed and uh, mobility to dodge their enemy fire. And if you get lucky enough, if they shoot at your tracks, so you don't get, so you t don't take damage because you. Because when you're only shooting at the tracks, you will sometimes not take damage because the tank, the tracks take 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 damage for you. So you can hope for that, but yeah. And for equipment, uh, you you can try to get the enhanced torsion bars, as you can see here, to increase the durability of the track, so you don't get tracks destroyed too often. Because well. If your tracks gets destroyed, you you can't basically move basically, and that's the light tank's worst problem if that ever happens, because yeah, you will pretty much be a bait for everyone, so that's not really good. See, so yeah, the armor is the, the armor is crap, so so everything shooting at you will most likely penetrate and kill you for the most part. So you really don't want to get hit when when you are this thing. The turret traverse speed is good, but 
I don't know why it says turret traverse speed because it it is mostly gun traverse speed if I'm gonna be honest because this this light tank is quite different from most of the light tanks. It's basically has the, the tank destroyer theme in that it looks like it has a turret but it can only turn the gun like to some degree like let's see if I'm showing like here you can point the gun to here at the most and to here so you can only shoot at the front line so that's one thing to keep in, ma uh, to keep in mind of when you're doing things so it's basically a light tank with a tank destroyer fun uh, function the view range is quite good. It, uh, you should most of the time follow follow this part where it says 360 and 360 because well, if you could look at the vehicle details, it says there 360 and 360. The reason it says that my actual view range is over 360 is because that comes into account with equipments and the groups and such. And so, don't pay attention to that, to that right now. So yeah, 360 meter view range is good. I don't think uh, I, I don't think uh, it's quite as good as some of the other light tanks. Let let's compare it to some of them maybe, like the Chaffee. It has 370. So yeah, and uh, what else is there? I don't know if Russia have a tier 5 scout tank. No, it doesn't seem like it. And yet, and yet, the Japan doesn't have any. The Britain. I don't think you can call the Crusader a scout tank because. No, definitely not. Not It only, had, it only has 340. The government has the Leopard, which has 380 new range. And that there's a French, and then yeah, so, so so that's basically the all of them. So the view, 360 view range is still good. It maybe isn't as good as like the leopard and such, but it's the uh, but it, it it is still enough for you to for you to for you to scout in this thing. However, the senior range is actually pretty bad if I'm gonna be honest. But that doesn't matter. That, that that doesn't matter all too much. It can be it can be a problem if you're scout scouting when there are no teammates near you at all. That might be a problem sometimes. But most of the time you you you, sh you shouldn't be all that worried because the view range is the act uh, is the actual reason. The, uh, I mean the the view range is the most important part, and the scene range is like there. And now I have talked about the, all this stuff. Now we comes to what makes this tank special. There are two things that makes these tanks really special. One part is that I mentioned the incredible speed and so on. And the other thing is the guns. Or the gun. Pretty much. If you look at the research tree. You have three guns. You start off with this gun. The 75mm SA32, which is a piece of crap gun. It is the same gun you get on the AMX40. It is exactly the same gun, just to get the better rate of fire. But that gun you sh you should get get uh, get rid of it as soon as you po as soon as you can. Once you get these two, because this gun is garbage. The rate of fire is okay. The penetration is horrible. You will, you will not ever going to penetrate any of the tanks you are facing with that gun, unless you are shooting on maybe tier four or something that will maybe happen some some occasion. But yeah, this gun is really, really garbage and has a really, really poor accuracy. So don't even bother using this, this gun. The next gun is still not very good. You you get a better penetration, same rate of fire. The damage is the same. And the, and the accuracy is still crap. And then, so these two guns is awful. You, uh, you really don't want to use these two guns. But then you get this gun, the 90 min, the 90 millimeter, the 915. This gun is great, and 
this is what makes this tank special. It has a 90 caliber gun, which is a really, really nice thing on a tier 5 tank. There are not many tanks in tier 5 that has 90 millimeter of uh, caliber. Of course, the rate of fire is very uh, is not good. It, it only has five rate of fire once a minute. So that means if you have this tank like fully upgraded, you will have like a 10, 11 second reload. So you so the rate of fire is not that good. But here here comes the thing. It has 170 penetration on the uh, normal AP shells, 240 average damage, which is really really nice. They are, uh, I, th I think this this is the most powerful guns, except for maybe uh, like a few tank destroyers or such. But yeah, to have one of the best tier five uh, guns. Or I, I or, or I mean, this is a tier six gun, but uh, 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 as a tier five tank, this is probably the most powerful, or one of the most powerful guns on a tier five tank, which is really nice actually. It is basically a tier uh, a tier five tank with uh, it, uh, it is basically like a KV1S. That has a really really good gun for its hair. So that's really good. The accuracy is okay. Uh, uh, three point eight is uh, it's not bad, but it's not really good either. It's only okay. And the drawback, the mostly drawback of the gun is two two point nine second aiming time. And that is really slow aiming time. So if you're shooting from a far distance, you have to wait like yeah, three seconds in order to uh, get a good aim on it. So yeah, but this is a really, really good gun. But like the KV-1S, this is more of an alpha damage gun in that you take a pop shot, shoot at the target, and then wait for a moment like you're treating or wait for a moment and then pop up again and uh, shoot again. So this is so this is like a K1S but has a slow rate of fire but has really good penetration and damage. So that's what re that is what makes the tanks really special. So yeah, uh, now we have all that covered. Let's talk about equipment and crew skills. For equipment, I have the Improved elation, which is probably the, the best equipment for the most part. 5% to all crew skills, so that's why you can see there my commander is 105% instead of 100. So that's really good. And I have the medium uh, caliber tanker armor, which you should need if you're using this gun, because that 5 rate of fire is, yeah, really slow. So you should so you should really use uh, this one as well, and coated off this I went for it because well I, uh, I felt like having it because that's a good thing because the other options you can have is you can have the uh, enhanced gun link drive to reduce the aiming time on the gun so that's a really good thing to have. Other things I talked about the enhanced torsion bars earlier so. That, that, that can be a good thing, but it's not really a mandatory equipment you should, you should go for. But you can go if, uh, for it uh, as you wish, if your tracks gets, gets destroyed too often and such. Other things? Well, if you really want to be... Uh, uh, if you really want to pass the scout a lot in this tank, you should go for camouflage net and binocular telescope if you're doing that way. I play this tank like a mixed thing. Sometimes I play it as, uh, as an active scout, depending on the marshmaking on map, or sometimes a uh, passive scout and so on. And sometimes like a tank destroyer, uh, depending on the si situation. So that's the options. You don't really want to. You don't really need all the orders. Bet Amorak is useless because, well, who cares if you be Amorak when you when you usually die in 
one, two or three shots. So yeah. Nice ball liner. Like, forget it. Like, tw uh, 20 percent armor protection to ramming on explosion. If you get uh, a high explosive shell on this tank, you are dead. So it's it's uh, this this thing this equipment is really a waste of time. The toolbox is useless as well. And now, so this is the equipment you uh, the dive go for at least. The crew skills. There are two crew skills which you really should need on this tank, and for every scout tank in general is first six sense. What six sense does is it enables your commander to identify whatever the vehicle has been spotted by the enemy. So it get uh, so every time you get spotted. Uh, this thing will pop up as a warning and tell you that you have been spotted. So that's a really good thing to know when the enemies have, have been spotting you so you can react in time. Because otherwise, you, because normally you don't, you don't ever know if you get spotted or not. So this is probably the best crew skill you can ever go for. On all the vehicles in fact. And especially as a scout. And the other crew skill is camouflage. You really, you really want camouflage when you're playing as a light tank, light scout tank. As you can see, that reduces vehicle visibility. The effective skill is an uh, average across the entire crew. The skill is calculated with effects of camouflage and camouflage nets. So we stack with camouflage nets and with few, because if you guys don't know, camouflage and view range is what is what affects when you get spotted. If you want to spot someone, like see here, my actual view range now is four, 404. So I can only spot tanks if they are in that range, 404 meters. But I'm not gonna always spot targets on uh, 404 meters because the tanks I'm trying to spot also have their camouflage value. And for example, ELC AMX has a base camouflage value of like, I don't know, 20, 22 or something. I know it's over 20, so I'm, go I'm going to go with 22 or 23. So yeah, 22 or 23 pr uh, percent camouflage this tank has. And what that means is that, uh, that uh, 22, 23 uh, percent camouflage means it cuts the enemy's view range by 22% so if they are trying to for example spot me their view range will be cut in 22% uh, in order they had to spot me and because I have 100% camouflage on this crew and 86% camouflage on this crew I can only imagine that I have maybe over 30 or even closer to 40% uh, camouflage and you can imagine cutting the view range on the enemy's uh, view range by 40% in order to be able to spot me. So that's a really, really nice thing to have. So yeah, six sense and camouflage is all you should go for most of, for the most part. Are the crew skills after that? Well, you can go with mentor to train up the driver crew if you want, but yeah. Other things is like recon or... Uh, Situal awareness to increase your view range is, is also really good on this tank. If you really want to focus on your gun more on this tank, then you should go with either Dead Eye, if Dead Eye is really good. Snapshot can help, but it's not really that uh, mandatory. But yeah, Dead Eye you should uh, mostly go for because it increases the chance to cause damage to uh, enemy vehicles, models, and crew. So you can. So you can Destroy the tracks uh, easier, or knock out crew members, all all that good stuff. So that's really good. Designated target may may also be good, I think. So you can uh, keep them spotted a, a bit longer. So that's pretty good as well. For driver skills, you definitely want this clutch braking. Increases vehicle traverse speed, and that basically increases the traverse speed even more. I think when that gets up to 100%, 
I think my Trevor has been goes from 48 to maybe 40, 41. So that's really useful. And other things that is really good is, of course, you can go for smooth, right? If you want to fire on the move, basically. And off-road driving, which makes it easier to drive on grass and water and stuff. So that's really useful as well. But now, I, but that was the part of the review on this tank. And now I'm uh, going to play a couple of games for you. So, yeah, see you in a moment. And now, so here we are. On this map. And this is actually a really good matchmaking for this tank. Because if you just don't know, scout tanks like this one gets different matchmaking compared to the others. Where if you drive a uh, tier 5 tank most of the time, you get uh, matchmaking from 5 to 7. But as a tier 5 as a tier 5 scout tank, you get matchmaking from uh, tier 6 to 8. So this is a really good matchmaking for this tank actually. Time to roll out. And now I'm going to go a pretty good spot where I can pass the scout. And look at and look how good speed this tank has. I am already over 60 kph, and I have and I've just uh, begin begin to drive. Really nice that. So I'm going to go to a bush up there because that's that that is most of the time a good way to get behind there and scout. But I have to be careful so no one else is driving up there because then I'm probably fairly screwed. And there I have a T44. I don't know if it's spotted me. No, I, no, I don't think it has. One good thing is that I have six sense, so I know when I get spotted. So I haven't got spotted yet, so I'm going to drive up here and be cautious. Because if you don't know, bushes increases your camouflage effective even better. And this A20 is closing in on me, so I, I don't want him to get too close. Because if it gets close to 50 meters, they will automatically spot me. So I have to be somewhat cautious. But I have, I spot a few tanks there, as you can see there. And if you look at the map, mini map here, you can see this yellow circle here. That's my spotting view range. So every tank that are here, that are in my circle, I, I, I can spot. So I spot this tank here. So I spot this Cromwell for them, and uh, so far it's going to feel good. And when I'm spotting the Cromwell, my team is assisting me to kill them, and I get spotting damage, which is a really good thing. Because when you spot targets, and let your teammates kill them, you get, you get assistance damage or spotting damage. And that gives you a lot of experience and credits as well. And one thing to keep in mind is that when you're passing like this, you don't want to shoot because you lose your effective camouflage when you fire. So if I'm gonna fire, for example, right now, I'm probably gonna, uh, going to get spotted, so I don't want to shoot just yet. Maybe if someone is shooting at him later, maybe if I can... Oh! Wait to get the Cromwell! Nice! So this has been starting off quite well. Here we have a KV-1 and a Crusader over there that I'm uh, spotting right now. This is a really good spot to pass the scout, as long as there are no tanks driving uh, to this direction. I'm going to take out this KV-1. Did I get spot dead? Yes I did, so I have to retreat now. Because yeah, they are, they are going to shoot at me if I kept staying there. That warning I could use so up here was the warning it told me that I get spotted from six cents. And it takes like five or ten seconds to the spawn to wear off. So now I'm probably safe again, so I can maybe drive back there. And we are losing six seven, but I don't think. 
we can maybe uh, do this anyway. Let's see if I can get this T type T34. Nice, I got him. Two kills so far. Really good, and I didn't get spotted either. Yeah, six sense is really your dream skill. It makes you so much better to scout as a light tank. And because I have so good camouflage with camouflage skills, my camouflage is even better. And that's really nice to have. It really is. And I think there we have a short shield. Let's see if I can get a good shot on him. The aiming time is fairly so I have to wait a couple of seconds to get a good shot off. And I can't... No. My gun... Another, uh, 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 another thing you need to keep in mind is that the, the gun elevation and the gun depression is not good either. So, so that's one thing you have to keep in mind of as well. And I'm going to see if I can do something about that Crusader. Maybe. And I have get spotted, so yeah, the show shield took care of the crusader. Nice one day, Chris. Nice one day, show shield. And we are losing 9-11. We really need to take out the crawl because those are really good medium tanks. And I see if I can help that artillery. I don't. I don't think I can, I can make it in time. Oh, good. Oh, that was close. And I and I have been spotted again. We are losing 10-11, but, but fortunately, we can still do this, I think. I just need to be really cautious, as, especially against those artilleries. I don't want to get hit by them, because they can, just, they can basically one hit kill me if they get a hit, hit on it. So I, ha I have to be careful. I'm going to take these bushes to advantage. See if I can spot them here. There is the Churchill. Come on, aim faster, aim faster. Come on. Good hit there. And I have a spotter, so I have. I can use because this tank is so small and has a good low profile. You you can use this to a good advantage. And I don't know if, unfortunately, success doesn't tell you when when your spotting wears off. And I've been spotted again, so. I really need to be careful. I don't want to get hit by the artillery. And I have to get away. Because you have to keep moving in this thing. Because otherwise, if you stay still too long and they spot you, you are pretty much going to be dead. So you have to really be careful. I'm gonna see too if I can take care of this. The ring. Come on, aim, 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 aim. No, no, I missed. This is not good. Oh, but fortunately, the Kiwi one to, uh, took out him. Oh, that was good. And now we are in a 12 12 uh, situation. So, yeah, we have we have a chance. And they are spot. The Panzer, whatever it's called. Yes, got him. And now I'm going to try to take on Churchill. My my reload is fairly long, so yeah. Can I get him? No, I hit his tracks. No. I really hope we can do this. I hit his tracks instead, so I didn't do any damage to him. Oh, I have, I have to hide in a bush, so he doesn't spot me again. I have, I have me spotted. Can I get him? Can I get him? Yes, I got him. Now I'm spotted again, but as long as I keep moving, I don't think they're targeting hit me. Unless it gets really, really lucky. But I'm going to use this hill to advantage so he can't hit me from here. Uh, 
And now all we have left is the artillery. Where is he? I don't know where he is. He's probably up there where we're marking. So he's probably here or something. And I've been spotted and I don't even see him. And there he is. Oh. Yeah, I have to be careful so I don't. Ready to fire. Where'd they go? Yay, got him! Ooh, what a great game! Five kills in an ELC AMX. Damn, that was a good game. I'm really happy about that. And look at that! Ace thank you badge and patrol duty and 48,000 credits and 1,800 experience. Wow! And look at here. I spotted six targets and 2,900 assistance or spotting damage. F five kills and over 1k damage. That was, I, if I'm gonna be honest, that was probably one of my best ELC games ever. And I have played like this tank 500 times. I'm really impressed, I, I, I got this really good game uh, 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 in a video recording actually. Yeah, I'm really happy about this. Damn, that, damn, that was good. Wow. So yeah, really, really good first game. A lot better than the last video, which was a total failure with my A43. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think I'm going to have like one, one or two more games or something. So yeah, see you back in a moment once again. And now we are back, once again. And again, really good matchmaking actually. I'm quite, I'm quite surprised I get two tier 6 matchmaking twice in a row. That doesn't usually happen. Most of the time I get like tier 7 so, and so on. So yeah, that is good as well. This is, this map, however, is not quite as good as scouting map like the previous map because I don't have really that much advantage to a dispatch scout. So I'm going to see if I can maybe follow this path and maybe drive upward up there. And look at the speed on this thing, it's really incredible. Uh, let's see if some tanks are coming this this way as well. So far not. And their team has an ELC as well. And I, I am quite happy I haven't faced any Hellcats yet. Because if you guys don't know, I hate facing Hellcats when I'm driving this thing because they basically destroy me. I really don't I really don't like facing Hellcats when I'm driving this tank. So yeah I'm uh happy with that. I can maybe this is a fairly good spotting position. But I don't but so far I haven't spotted any tanks yet. I mean there are tanks down there but I'm not spotting them. So let's let's see maybe and see if some tanks are coming this way or not. Yeah. I may as well uh, talk about the A43 in the last video. I played my two first games in that video. And as you saw, they those games were really terrible. I'm really not happy with those games. I have played th that tank some more and I have played like 30 games now with it and 
It is a decent medium tank. I have done well in few games, but I still get most of the time losses, which I don't really like. But it is still a good flanking tank. If you can get, get time, uh, uh, get the enemies behind the flanks and stuff. So it is an okay tank, but as I address, it's not a good medium tank when you're facing higher tiers like tier 8 games as such. But in its but in its own tier, it can do decently well. So it's you know it's a, it is an all right medium tank overall. And here we have a Shito, I'm probably go going to do this. It doesn't seem the enemies are going this way. So I am pretty safe. So far we are losing 6 free, so I'm not really sure how this is going to be. But we are pushing downward here, as you can see on the map. I can maybe go charge for the artillery, but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do that just yet. There we have it. Yeah, Panzer 4. Can I get a shot in? Not yet. I really want to take this guy out. Come on. Ah, shot right as he died. I should have shot there, but I wasn't really sure if that shot was going to miss or not. And this A43 is... well, I don't know... Is there any tank there? Do you ever have a Stug? He hasn't spotted me yet. Ah, why did I do that? That was bad. That was bad. And I've been spotted there. Oh. Damn it! These stupid heads with the derp guns. I should have moved there. That, that that was a bad decision. I can shoot him he uh, from here. The stuck. There we have a uh, social. I should really go forward and maybe take out that. Well, may more for the AT. Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to go down here. Down here. Um, damn it. Why did my tracks blown up? Because I took full damage there. And this K1 SS. Let's go. I'm going to go for the Marty for the AT. Wherever he is now. Where did he went? Or actually... I'm probably gonna go into go to for that Stug again. He hasn't spotted me. Can I get my, my, my aiming time down? Oh my, why did I miss there? And... Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't really pay attention. I didn't really pay attention to the cap circle. Oh, I should maybe go back to my base and see if I can reset the cap. We don't have not we don't have much time. No. I won't be able to make it in time. It's, it's over. But I can maybe make up for it to deal with this K1SS at least. Like so. And this Hetzer. He's probably shooting at me, but he doesn't make that chance. So yeah, I'm the only one alive, and I didn't die. Oh well. I wasn't going to be able to make it in time anyway to reset the cap, so that was kind of unfortunate. Yeah. So that was an unfortunate defeat. Didn't die though, so that match was... Uh, it was uh, alright. And I think I'm going to have one more game in this thing. So yeah, let's see you in, an, in another one. Okay, here we are now. 
once again. And this time around we have a uh, tier 7 game. But a really generous tier 7 game. There's only two tier 7s on each team. And an E25. Yeah, those tanks. So yeah, really good march making uh, at least we have got. We haven't once got the tier 8 game, which is the worst march making you get. At least now. Like many patches ago, the ESC could face tier 9 tanks. And facing tier 9 tanks, yeah, I don't think that was a really good decision to make. So they changed it up so it only faces as high as tier, tier 8 now. So that's a really welcome change, I think. This is this is also a fairly good. I'm going to drive a little forward and see if I can get easier spots this way, maybe. And here's a Lurch. Wow, I have to retreat now. He has spotted me because Lurch is, an, is, an, is another scout tank. But fortunately, our Panzai uh, SFL IVC is uh, took care of him. I don't really know that name, but yeah, good, good for him. So I'm going to, go to do some active scouting here. I hope I don't uh, get into too much trouble. And there we have a BK 301D. Over there. There we have a T-34. So far I think the enemy team are pushing down the right side on the city there. I think. Let's see if I can... Uh... Wow. Good thing I, uh, I didn't go around him there. Because I don't want to get shot. I may take the chance. No, I don't. I don't really know if it's worth if it's worth it. The turret ring is damaged. Uh, Enemy vehicle there destroyed. we go. Did take a hit there, and it and it destroyed my turret. So I going to fix that with my repair kit. You can use repair kits to, to destroy a module, but you can only use it once per bird, per battle. But that's one thing to keep in mind. I'm going to park here and let's see if I can get some sniping spots on that yeah, Panzer 4. But he's out of my view range, so I have to go a little bit forward. I have to be really careful though. Especially against that E25. So far, we, we are winning 7 2. That's really good. And I'm going to help that Cromwell over there. And... Yeah. Wow, that Cromwell is really go going ahead of himself. He's probably going to die in a second if he keeps doing that. I want to help him, but in this situation, uh, yeah, no chance. I'm sorry, Cromwell, but I would just have stand a chance there. I'm sorry. I'm not going to shoot yet because then I will get spotted, and I don't want. Now I'm going to shoot. Gotcha. Take care of the yeah, Panzer Four. And I have been spotted, of course. And that E25 is a one hit kill for me, so I'm going to take my chance and get behind him and... Well... I didn't have to because the Japan that took care of him. That works too. I'm not complaining. So two kills uh, so far and we are leading 12-5. Really good actually. And I'm going to get behind this, uh, whatever this tank is called. I, don't, I, can't, I, I can't pronounce that tank, I'm sorry. And I've been spotted again. I'm going to take care of this tank. 
Get you from there behind. And here we go. Three kills. And all we have left is an another ELC that does that are capping our base. But he's the only one left alive and yeah. He left the cap circle for some reason, but he won't have a chance against all of us. So yeah, this has been this is the ELC AMX. I really enjoy this tank. It is one of my favorites, as I said before, in this uh, game. I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't good at it at all. The first hundred game I played in it, I was really terrible actually. But I have gotten better and better uh, since then. And now that I played over 500 games with this tank, I'm starting to get really good at this tank. So I'm quite happy with that. This is, this is a really, really good and really fun tank to play once you get the hang of it. And can I maybe get the ELC before we are winning the cap? I don't know where the ELC is. Where can it be? Well, too late. We are we won by capping anyway. So that was a good game uh, as well. Three kills so far. Not not as great as the first game, as you can see. I didn't get that ma much spotting. I got two two spots there, but I didn't get any assistance damage for some reason. So yeah, I don't really know why I didn't. I thought I uh, 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 I thought I wa uh, was going to get some spotting damage when I went up to their base, but oh well. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter uh, too much because this was still a really good game. So free kills and all. So yeah, my uh, summary time of my overall opinions on the SAMX, I really enjoy this one. This is my favorite light tank to play. I have some others that are decent, but yeah, this is a really good tier 5 light tank. and. It is a really good tank as well. It it is hard to play though. You have to really know how to uh, how, uh, how you play light tank before you before you get into this. So yeah, it is a, uh, as I say, it is a really good tank. It takes some time to just to get used to it and all and do well in it. it uh, what uh, what I'm trying to say is it's hard to do well in an ESC AMX if you are new to it. But I have played it so much now, so I'm uh, get, getting quite good at it, and I really enjoy this. And I and I also hope you enjoy this video. So I'm going to cut this video out here, and uh, yeah, F thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review slash let's play and such, and of this. Uh, really nice tank. So yeah, and see you see you next time. I'm probably going to do maybe the Mega Man Free Let's Play next time because I'm I'm uh, like I said maybe in the Mega Man One or Two video I said that I I am going to wait like a uh, a week or so between each Let's Play series. So I'm probably going to do. Uh, they make me free. Let's play very soon, actually. So I really hope you are looking forward to that as well. So yeah, this has been full of tanks and this and this tank and uh, yeah. See you next time.